What's up guys? Just going to quickly show you um, some ways to find resources on Atlas. I've seen this pop up a few times recently so I thought I'd just put a video out and um, you know hope it helps some people out. So the first way you can do in-game, the other two um, ways that I prefer to use, especially one of them, are websites. But I'll show you them in a moment. I'll show you the in-game way first. So in-game there is actually a keybind that allows you to see what you're looking at. You can see I'm looking at a uh, like little bush thing and it says hemp. Um, if I look at uh, this rock, it will say stone, and then it says slate shirt and silver because that's the stone, the flint, and the metal contained within that rock. Also tells you the time in the top left, the day that you're on, um, what zone you're in. So we're in Eastern Temperate, and it's 18 degrees, so it's telling me the temperature. Um, and if you look at a tree, you know, it says tree, softwood and rushes, that's the type of wood and thatch in there. And originally this keybind is H. I've moved mine to G because I find it easier. But if I go to the keybinds, how? And you can see there, show all station icons. That is the keybind that you're looking for. So I don't know how it works on Xbox or console. Um, I think, hopefully, this menu is available on console and you can just change it so it might already be assigned to a key on your controller i'm not sure but if you find this menu the key bindings menu and then just look for show all station icons that is the one that shows you what you're looking at it's a really really cool key if you don't know about it um and also if I do this a lot. I'll be running around exploring and I'll leave my mount somewhere. So if I'm on a bear, I'll leave it behind a bush and I'll be like, where the hell did I leave my bear? And you can't see it. You run around like an idiot trying to find it. You can't find it. Well, if you hold down that function key that we were just looking at, it brings up arrows above any tamed head and your crew member's heads. So you'll be able to see that from quite a distance away. So this bear here, look, Betty, if we run away. Um, I don't know what the distance is, so I just thought I'd have a look quick. Uh, but it's not super far, but it's far enough. God damn, it's a lot further than I thought. Well, <laughs> uh, there you go. Look, it's right on the edge. There you go. Look, so this is as far as we can be away. That's quite a big distance. Obviously, that would be in the circumference around me. If that bear was anywhere within that range, we would have that arrow flashing like it is there. So it's a really, really cool key to know about. And like I said, it's how you find resources. And without the um, websites I'm about to show you, this is really the only way to find stuff. So when you're out exploring, picking up discovery points, when you jump on an island, you just quickly have a look at the rocks on the beach and see what's in them. Um, typically, if that says silver like that, you know there's probably silver nodes on the island somewhere. Or at least, fingers crossed, there will be. There's not always, but most of the time there will be. Um, but you know that that's the metal that you're going to find. Um, sometimes there'll be two types of metal, but unless you find it using this function, you won't know. Um, again, and you'd go up to trees and know which wood was on this island. So that's how you would do it. And I used to have a little notebook. I still have a notebook, so I still wrote things randomly down like this. But I would um, walk around the island I'm building a base on, and I would note down all the different types of wood and thatch on that island. And when I go out discovering places, I would take notes of the island I've stopped at in the grid I'm on, and write down what wood and thatch, fibre, metal, etc. I was finding. So I had a little reference book to know where to go and collect different resources from. But now I know about these websites, and I've known about these for a little while, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So I'll just jump out of here and onto the website. So the first website I'm going to show you, they're both websites, these tools I mentioned. The first one is Antihacks GitHub. But there you can see we've got the zoomed out map of the official Atlas. So what you do is you zoom in and you can see the different grids. Um, you would just pick a grid near you. So let's say we are in uh, K5 because that's where my current main base is on Atlas. Um, so if I zoom in, so I know on this island, which is where I actually am, uh, I've got bamboo, I've got darkwood, I've got hemp, I've got silver, um, we've got treasure map spawns and map spawns, uh, quite a lot of map spawns actually there. And we've got a variety of fruit and veg, including like wild onions and things like that. And then obviously the maps and the treasure spawns. So it's quite a nice island, that's kind of why I set up there. And also it's got um, a good selection of animals, including bears, which are always handy. So when you're out and about, you might find a nice high level bear to tame. Um, it's got horses, I love a horse. 
It's got lions, which are a little bit rare on this island, but if you walk around for a, you know you know twenty minutes, or so you will find them eventually. Um, it's got tigers. It's a nice island. You can see why I picked it to um, set up a, a main base for the moment until I buy an island, essentially. So yeah, let's say K5 is our main base. I need some extra resources, so you're going to have to go and find them. So you would use this to go and locate them. So pretty much, you know most things near you are going to have the similar resources. So we're probably going to have to go you know a little further afield so let's just go let's just assume we want a different metal so i've got silver on this island and as you can see the islands next to it nearly all have silver on as well as their their metal but actually below us because it's gone to tropical and we're in a temperate um we've now got copper so actually the grid directly below me i know i can go and collect copper as well as different resources different types of wood different types of stone you get the idea it's really helpful you can just hover over things instead of going exploring you can just hover over stuff and know where you want to head to before you start heading there so really really cool the other cool thing you can do with this website is you can look for stuff so if i um, zoom the map out a little bit this might move when i press enter i don't know but let's just say we want to find uh tin so i'll type in tin press enter let's put all the red dots on the map that is where we can find tin so really really helpful so again let's say we're in k5 so actually in j5 we've also got tin again i already knew kind of this is kind of why i picked uh k5 because i've got silver there's copper below me and there's tin right next to me as well so um yeah really useful you can type in animals so let's just type in rhino and now you can see all the locations for the rhinos really really useful uh tool and actually one more thing god nearly forgot this so let's clear that also to clear the red dots you just um delete your you know your search this box the set of boxes below it if you turn on discoveries it's now put a load of black dots on the map and if you zoom into an island like that you will see the discovery point so when you're out exploring you can you know to head to them two marks and they're the two discoveries on that island and that is the only discoveries there so it's a really really awesome website if you didn't know about it already the second one is explore atlas and again you've got a full grid there you can click on the grid and it will bring you the islands this is actually really helpful when you're doing treasure hunting i normally use this because you can get a much better look at the um, island when you click on it look so you can sort of see it in an easier light sometimes but you can do like i said you, earlier you can do that on github as well and again you click on the island it's telling you on this island all the different animals that are there um, when you scroll down you've got all the different resources and also tells you what group it's in so instead of reading if you didn't know what something was you can just look down there and go oh i want sap all right there's sap what is it honey okay there's honey on that island um oh there's another set of sap oh it's sugar cane um if you didn't know what the different types of crystal were you can see their crystal and we know that quartz is there so when we're out on the island we're looking for quartz it's a really cool uh, addition also i think this is better for discoveries than github although it's not exactly easier to find them it does give you the coordinates and name of the discovery point that you're looking for and it gives it you for each island. So on this island I clicked on, there is five discoveries and you've got all the uh, coordinates there. And when you click on the region and you scroll down, it will give you the list of all the um, discoveries in the region. So again, really, really useful. And you can search things on here as well. You can see up there, uh, search, it's got the lion. So let's just type in lion. Um, and there you go, there's 485 islands with lions on. And if we click on the lion, it will take you to this page and you can see all the islands. And you can filter this so you can just go by region and that's put it in alphabetical order. So like we was in K5, you just scroll through until you find K5 or near K5. So again, really useful. I think they, you know, this is much better when you type in lion and it just brings up all the uh, red dots. So yeah, really cool. And of course, there's always Atlas Wiki, which most people know about, but it's not as efficient as the other two websites I showed you. But you can find everything on here, um, and obviously you can find out information on 
what it was you was looking to tame, for example. So we just type in lion again. Goes to the lion page. You can see that its preferred food is prime meat. You can see it drops animal meat, bone and fur. You can see the stat variations. You can see a description of the animal, how to tame it or one method of taming it, what it does, breeding, and a list of um, places that people have found it. This relies on people actually telling the website where they was they. So again, it's not as good as just typing it in and getting all these red dots. So yeah, there we go, guys. I hope that helps you out. If you got anything else you was unsure of or any questions about Atlas, let me know. And if I know uh, an answer, I will let you know and make a little video on it. And if you like watching survival gaming videos, check out my other content. Obviously, I've got an official Atlas playlist. And um, I also play other survival games, like No Man's Sky at the moment. And I also play a bit of Star Citizen, which I'm really loving at the moment. So go check out the other content if you've not been here before. But anyway, like I said, hope this was helpful. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.